Hello, my butterflies. Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, make sure that you like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe. And to my returning butterflies, make sure you share this video with everybody. Well, maybe not this one because I'm coming to you a little bit more raw. Today is my birthday. I am so excited. And my gift to myself was pajamas. So today I am working in my pajamas. I don't want to put a curl in my head. I don't do my edges. But I do want to plan this makeup I just got. So let's get ready with me and try this new makeup. So I did get makeup from um, Juvia's Place. But it is because Crayon Case does not sell face products. And so I, remember, I want to try out new um, foundations so I can see which foundation I really, really like for my face that is affordable. And they had a sale. And so that is what we are going to try. So what I purchased is... Abajan, I think is how you say it. It's a foundation stick. Um, and then I purchased Gene. That's how I'm going to say it. Sounds uh, fancy. And so I purchased that foundation stick. And then I also purchased um, a velvety matte foundation. So my skin is kind of oily, so I don't like anything oily. And this is in number 310. So we are going to see which one works for my skin the best. And then I'm going to tell you, um, let's see, what am I willing to share? Let me prime my face. I am willing to share, I guess my most valuable lessons over this last year. I think that'll be a good one because I started learning some more lessons at the beginning of last year. So in my more mature, wiser years um i have really learned to value situations differently and so what i mean by that is situations can happen but it is all in how you choose to deal with them and what you will get out of them so yes some situations are really bad they hurt and you're like why is this happening to me um but being a victim is never a good place to stay in. And then also, let me tell you, it's been one heck of a week. So I've been super, super busy and I plan to land Sunday. I had a recording session, flight was delayed, all of these things. And then, of course, we know what happened with Kobe. And although people, some people don't understand, like, if you guys don't know this person, like, you know, how is it impacting you? Well, the same way when we see uh, fans would fall out and pass out and everything over Michael Jackson. That's a legend. If that's somebody that you grew up admiring or you are around the same age and that is someone that has had an impact on your life because celebrities, some of the celebrities are really involved with uh, audience and what do we do? We engage. So even a leader, you engage. And so when you engage, someone feels like, you know, they begin to start to relate with you. And so if something happens to that person, well, not quite naturally it's going to impact you because that is a part of your life that has changed. And that is celebrity or not, you know, that's somebody that you probably sometimes see more than your family because you see them on TV or wherever they are. Now I'm swatching this. I probably shouldn't have put it all over my face if we testing it out, but listen here, we gonna roll with it because I need to practice my look for this weekend. Cause y'all know. Okay, so let's see how this works. So right away, I could tell that it is a little bit too light for certain parts of my faces. Okay, so that is like how tragedies, and then on top of that, it was a tragedy. So you can relate in a way that, and I will get to, well, no, this ties into what I've learned over the last year. So it ties, when someone has a tragedy, and I think that for me, because you all know how, this is very full coverage. You all know how I feel about death anyway. Um, and especially as it relates to tragedy. I've shared with you all when I needed to take a break because it was around the time that my cousin was murdered. Um, you all unfortunately have gone through a best friend passing away, you know, with me. It happened while I had the channel. So I just don't handle death well to begin with. And because I can relate, I can empathize with someone. Um, I could empathize with 
all of the husbands that lost their wives. I could empathize with all of the wives that are impacted by this, not just Vanessa, but all of them that and the, the siblings, I'm a sibling. You can begin to relate and empathize because you can put yourself in that person's shoes. Um, drummer man is getting a little close. Uh, so I apologize in advance. I'm really sorry. Um, so, you know, it just really makes you reflect on things and you, you feel bad about what that person is going through. Um, until you've been through some of these things, maybe you don't understand, but don't ever question why somebody empathizes with someone. When you stop empathizing, that's when we have a problem in this world. And that's the problem, <coughs> excuse me, that I see a lot in people is that they cannot empathize with someone until they go through the issue too. Well, I think that that's a little bit selfish because you want everyone to um, understand when you're going through something, but you don't understand what somebody else is until it happens to you. Now, granted, you might not be as close to it. Um, so you may not be able to put yourself in the shoes. You know, sometimes if you don't have kids, you can't put yourself in the shoes of a parent or something like that. But don't judge others who do caveat is some people just going too far but we know that that's going to happen so for those people just ignore them and keep going but don't think that you know nobody is supposed to care that you don't understand why somebody cares because they didn't you know wake up and have breakfast with him or any of the other people every day um it's just it's different and so even in dealing, y'all, this, this foundation is everything. I love this foundation. It's not wet. I can't feel it on my face. It was easy to spread. What I put on the back of my hand, I have left some. So it, it really didn't take a lot either. And look how smooth it made my skin, like in real life. So um, I've shared with you all too that I have um, anxiety about different things. I, I very much so manage it, but anxiety, I just don't think that it goes away. Uh, after you have a certain trauma and um, of course because this one was a tragedy my face broke out like yesterday I went to record and I had a, a full-on panic attack like I was like I just I can't um, and that's not fair to do that to you guys I, I'd rather be transparent and talk to you about let me get a napkin because I got to wipe this off. I can't put it back in the thing. I'd rather talk to you guys about how I managed through something as opposed to getting on and, you know, uh, breaking down in front of you guys and getting all upset. I don't think that's healthy to do to people. And so it has caused me to get backed up in my recording. And so I do have to apologize for that. But people are human. And that is one of my greatest lessons that I learned over this last year. I've I've been through a lot of things and as they close and they are over, then I'll share them with you. Um, but until then, uh, I'm fine. Uh, it's nothing that is not normal. How you handle it is what changes things. Oh, y'all. Now, I didn't just play in this. I love it. So, y'all know I don't put on my lip gloss until I get on with you guys. So, let me put on my lip gloss because they ashy. Um, how you handle what is presented to you makes all the difference in the world, right? So change things and make it positive as much as you can. And it takes practice, but the more you do it, the more it will benefit your life, right? So I will give you an example um, of something that may seem small to you, but it's not to me. And it's what I'm willing to share at this point. So my husband, you guys noted, uh, he works like he's the president of the United States. And so he is not available to share my birthday with me in a way that I want expected to be able to um, celebrate it because this is a milestone birthday for me. So um, at first I was like, dang, like it's my birthday and I really wanted to spend it like, nobody wants to spend their birthday, a holiday, nothing important. You don't want to spend it without your 
spouse um, when you're truly in love. So I was like, oh man, you know, at first I was like, woe is me. Um, and then some important people are not able to go with me to Atlanta. This birthday just looks completely different than what I planned for and what I expected in my my head, you know, to happen. I had a choice to make. I could either let my birthday pass and say, oh, well, I'll just make a big deal out of the next one. Or I can celebrate only 10 minutes what i could um celebrate this one with the people that can make it appreciating the fact that i am blessed to be able to reach another birthday um and then yes i can celebrate the next one the way i really want to but i gotta celebrate this one too and so I made the plans to move forward, do Atlanta. Um, I still have Greece on the calendar. I still have a cruise in February. You know, uh, as you get busy, I guess things just look different and you have to be flexible with yourself because if not, you can really damage some opportunities to live your best life. I had a choice to make. And I made a choice to, number one, not be disrespectful to the people that could make it for my birthday. I have people buying plane tickets just to come in for a few hours. How can you not appreciate that? Um, I have people that started taking me out early because they knew that they wouldn't be able to do things. And so my point to all of that is you have a choice on how your life goes more than you think you do. You do. You have a choice on how you take things and what you do with it. And so when I was at the airport, highlighter number 16, as always, um, I had a choice to make. And I, my choice was, Either I could really shut down or I could say, okay, Asia, take this and process it. Still enjoy your birthday. Still do all the things that you plan. And, and I did as such. But hearing that someone passed away in such a tragic way, really made me even more thankful and even more grateful because what if I don't make it till next year? What if somebody that I'm waiting for that couldn't make it this year, God forbid, doesn't make it until next year? Is that really what I want to do? It's not. It's not. I want to live my blessed life. I want to make the best out of every situation where I am able. I want to appreciate the relationships that I have. I want to not be so hard on myself. I want to record in my pajamas when I want to because I'm playing with makeup, mentoring the world and being transparent in front of all of you. I don't have to be perfect. I don't. And if anybody expects perfection out of you and puts you on a pedestal, then let them figure out how to keep you there. You didn't ask to be there. You just asked to be yourself. And that's all you have to do. It really is. You know, uh, when I first woke up this morning, I'm like, I cannot believe I'm not like in a corner office being paid 32,500,000. People love it when I say numbers like that. Dollars an hour. What happened? Where did I go wrong? Um, 
I probably am letting people down. They expect more from me. Oh, I went in on myself this morning. I did. And so then I turned around and went back to sleep. I said, girl, you tripping, tripping. You need to go back to sleep because clearly you have lost your mind. You just open your eyes and that's the first thing you're thinking of. Girl, don't nobody have time for a bully. And you are bullying yourself right now. You are volunteering to make yourself sick. Go back to sleep. So I did. Um, and then some things happen. So I get a message from hubby that says, hey, come here real quick. And I'm like, okay. So he has took a little time and hand delivered. He normally has my flowers delivered for my birthday. He hand delivered them for me. And so that's something that is really important to me. I wanted to be able to see him today and not like late at night when we're really tired. Like he did that for me. And then I get back in uh, to my phone and I have 3,867 missed calls. One of them was my uncle. That's the football coach for uh, the Gators. And um, during a, a period in his time, he started taking classes for, and he was in college for um, ministry, something to do with ministry. I don't want to get it wrong. So I'm just going to say something to do with ministry. So he starts telling me about, he starts basically ministering to me um, because I told him, obviously not y'all know i was gonna cry at some point so my uncle is like my biggest hero like i never ever ever want to disappoint him anything like that and so i'm only doing eye makeup so don't worry like girl how are you finna finish this and get off our nerves and stop recording i'm only doing my eyes um let me set my eyes and you set your eyes with chalk dust. But I think I want to use a different color in chalk dust. I've been using A, but I really feel... Let me try the contour kit. I really... I, no. I um, want to use a different color because I feel like it's been coming out too light on me uh, lately. Like it looks really light. So we'll see. Um, so I'm talking to him and he's telling me about different career points in his life. And um, with uh, different types of things. So we're having a, a discussion and he's sharing all these stories with me. And I'm thinking, number one, thank you, God. It couldn't have come at a better time from the right person. Number two. My twin uncles have never almost remembered my birthday on my actual day. Everybody calls me on the 31st. My birthday is today. It's been today my whole life. <laughs> it's been today my whole life, but it has. Um, but both remembered. I said, okay, we going somewhere. Then, so I'm talking to him. He's dropping the wisdom on me and... um. I'm like, oh, this was the best birthday gift ever. Like, they both remember. All of my sisters at this point have called. I have one call and sing to me like she does every year in her best off-key voice. Then um, I was getting ready to record because then I got my, my spunk, my step back. And so uh, then I hear a knock at the door and it's these giggly little girls. And I'm like my goddaughters so they're home from school i think i want to use the map button let's use the map button they're home from school and they come in and my mom is about to cook for me and my really good friend terry like my my sister uh she's in my wedding too um calls in to cheer me up because she knew that i was having the birthday blues i think milestone birthdays you have birthday blues it's my birthday. I can cry if I want to. I think that song came from Birthday Blues. Let's try. I really want to do 
Should I try blue or something like that? It's going to be a smoky eye either way with this dark color. And then I think I'm going to sit. I want to try this with the um, red. What color am I wearing on Saturday? Okay. Yeah, let's try that. So, um, ooh. Yeah. So, um, I say all that to say that. It's all about how you look at things. Um, it's all about how you look at things and and what you value and appreciate. Valuate, valuing and appreciating people really is, to me, the best gift ever because it only took calls from people that I love Text from people that I love, posts from people that I love, um, a kept tradition from my husband to make my day everything. And it is having the right values in place, having the right expectations in place, um, makes it a little bit easier. It does. So with everything that I have been through, it kind of bothers me. Like when I hear people like, oh, nobody is there for me. Well, mm, that is a growing area. And so nobody wants to be alone. But here's the question. Are you alone? Or are you not getting the amount of attention that you want? Because there's a difference. You know, if you're not getting the amount of attention that you want, you need to reevaluate yourself because you're looking for something that people don't really owe you and you're looking for too much of it, actually. Um, and how do you think that that's making people feel that do appreciate you and have your back and stuff like that? When you, even when you post things like, Ain't nobody ever there for me. I did this all by myself. Nobody this and nobody that. And it's at least one person that has. How do you think that makes them feel? And it's quite unappreciative and it's quite immature. It really, really is. So if you could change your focus, you could change your outcome. You really can. And that is what I have learned the most um, this year. And what I've also learned is that by me growing and taking this opportunity to value the right things that God works it out for me in the end. Everything I thought I wasn't going to get aside from my husband getting on a plane. That ain't happening. Not right now. And I'm all for it, honey. Okay. I want a big house. Okay. I want to move on up. Um, But everything that I asked for as far as the love, I got it. I got it. And so, to me, I'm having the best day ever. I am. And I'm super, super appreciative. And it's something that had I not changed my perspective or been had I not changed my perspective is something that I could have allowed and yes you allow to ruin my day and then do I get that day back I don't I've never seen anybody get to make up a ruined day if you know how they do it if somebody does please child let me know I'm sure people would pay you a lot of money if you could share that information. I'm sure people would pay you a lot of money. But yeah, take the time to appreciate things. Don't let days go by being upset. And that also doesn't mean, here's the thing too, uh, about the Kobe thing. 
when some the Kobe passing away, when something happens to somebody that is famous, all of a sudden everybody loves and oh, you just gotta value life and you just gotta you know live your day like it's the last and oh, woe is that person, woe is that person, woe is that person. But it's somebody in your family that, or around you that literally needs you right then. But you can't see it in them. You can only see it when something happens to somebody that is famous. And to me, that mess needs to stop. It could be somebody telling you the same thing every day and you don't receive it. Because, and a lot, I've heard that it's because, oh, they know how that person really is, or they don't, um, they're just not taking it from that person. You know, they only listen to famous people. Well, here's the thing. That's only ruining your life because a good message is a good message. It doesn't matter if it comes from a two-year-old, an 80-year-old, um, somebody on drugs. It does not matter. It really doesn't. Everybody has generally... I'm always going to say generally, has something to offer. And so if somebody has some wisdom to offer you, you better be trying to listen, child, because life is short. And we knew that was short before this happened to Kobe and, and everybody on the plane and his poor baby. You know, everybody knew that before. And so if this has been a time where now you're telling everybody you love them and doing this and that, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with anything that turns into love. I really am. But don't just do it for um, Instagram and social media. Do it and really mean it. Let this be a turning point. Let this be a point where you're thinking, and I kind of don't like it when people say this too, dang, if it could happen to him, none of us are invincible. And Saying something like that kind of means like, to me like, oh, maybe it should have happened to this person. Like, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, in my lid, I am going to, this doesn't have any shimmer colors. Let me switch over to my raw sauce with the shimmer colors. By the way, what I've noticed with raw sauce is you can't just use this palette with the shimmers. If you're going to use it, you have to use a lot of matte colors and only one shimmer because otherwise it doesn't exactly look right. And I'm going to use gold on my lid. Um, if this is a time where you are, you know, loving everybody and respecting people and making things right and you want this to be a turning point, I'm sure that would be an honor to him because he said a lot of things... Um, about believing in yourself and all of that and very positive messages. So I'm sure that that would be an honor to him to begin to make some changes in your life. But make them because you want to do better for the people in your life. You know, don't do it because right now it's a trending hashtag um, or something like that, unless you plan to con continue it. Don't just do it while it's fresh, you know, and don't just... Basically, I'm, I'm trying to say, don't just start loving people because um, Kobe passed away. Start loving people and treating them right because you don't want them to pass away. Make it about your relationship with them individually, but let the, the reality of what happened maybe fuel, you know, how you feel and how you start to behave differently. But just do it because you want to. Do it because it's the right thing to do. Do it because God will sometimes send us signs to shift some things and wake us up. And, and if this didn't wake up, um, if this didn't wake you up, I don't really know what will for the people that are super, super Kobe fans and things like that. Um, but he was very young, Nipsey Hussle, very young. Um, when I first heard about it, I immediately thought of, um, oh, that wasn't good. I immediately immediately thought of um, La Bamba. Remember, he was, and for my, my youth, you might know it, a lot of uh, 
TV shows and movies you all know about because you're watching with your parents and stuff. Let me put on my um, eyeliner and mascara and then we're done. 30 minutes. Ooh, ooh. Let's see. I am going to use an... It was just right here. Y'all, this ain't real. This is the bear that I used on my brows. Oh, okay. I moved it over. And this is black rank. So that's what the name of the black liner is. Um, I immediately thought of the movie La Bamba because, you know, he passed in a plane crash and it really impacted the world as well. And I had just watched it at my aunt's house. But yeah, what I have really learned over the last year with all the changes that have come in my life is number one, don't give up, keep going. Number two, my choice is in how I handle something and I have complete ownership over that and that impacts, um, that can impact the outcome because there's a fine line between sanity and insanity and when I don't want to use that under my eye when when you take on that woe is me place and you consistently become the victim without properly taking care of yourself and really um without properly taking care of yourself and really processing things and dealing with it uh, that's a horrible place to be. It is because now you're giving whatever that thing is and I'm using an eraser from a crayon case as well to put on the concealer. Uh, that's a terrible place to be because, um, oh, y'all, I'm telling you that anxiety and different things does different things to your skin. So keep that's another reason to keep it at bay. So you don't have visitors on your face that don't pay rent. These things don't pay rent? I am 162. I did not need to be having no uh, visitors on my face. Okay. But yes, yeah, deal with things in a proper way. You don't need to internalize everything. Stay in that place of woe is me. Uh, you don't need to be a victim. You can be a victor. I love it when Pastor Joel says that. You don't have to be a victim. You can be a victor. What may have happened to you may be terrible, is terrible, but you survived. You made it. You have complete authority over what happens next. You do. Um, in some cases, there are some things where you don't necessarily have control over what happens next, but you have complete control over how you deal with it, how you use it to grow, how you use it. Um, and that growing may say, I'm never dealing with you again, or I'm never dealing with this situation again, or whoo. I won't do that again. You know, it's a, it could be a learning experience. But it truly is wise to use everything as a learning experience if you need to. If it's something that's out of your control and attempt to grow from it. So after you deal with your emotions, because you, you do need to do that, um, that is okay. You just don't stay in that place. You just don't stay in that place. I have this saying that I had before this last year that nothing bad that happens gets more than a day. You don't get more than a, uh, you don't get a whole day. You don't get a whole day. And what I meant by that was, um, I mean, I think it's self-explanatory. You don't get a whole day. So like today when things was off the hook when I woke up, I told my tail to go back to sleep. Er, girlfriend, go back to sleep. 
And so I did. And I woke up and voila, it's all better. Um, but that doesn't mean that it won't be another bad day. But you'll begin to be able to process it faster. Like, I already knew I was going to hear this particular song because my cousin that was murdered. It was his favorite song. It is not a song that is played on the radio. But when I tell you every time he needs to send me a message, I'll see a white butterfly. And I know that it's either my aunts, um, my god, my, I know it's somebody in my family. But that song I, is from him. And I'm not lying. I'm getting in the car last night coming from Walmart. Yes, I was at Walmart. And the song was on the radio. And I just fell out laughing. I fell out laughing. I said, Juggy, you something else. And I said, thank you. Because he came to tell me happy birthday. He did. And I bet he was super proud of me like, whew, okay, she didn't cry this time. Because I didn't. I was just happy. I was just really happy and I laughed a lot. So I came home and I had a really good night. But it took me a while to get there. When I heard this song on the day of my wedding, I'm telling y'all, I almost had, I had to pull over. I couldn't keep driving. And now it's getting easier for me. So the more that you practice and process and deal with, um, in a healthy way and look for a healthy way to deal with it, then the easier it becomes as it goes along. And that is, is really invaluable because again, you don't get whole days back. You don't even get minutes back. Um, and so I try to minimize the amount of minutes that I allow something to impact me at this point. Before, nothing could have a whole day. Then I moved to nothing could have a whole hour. You know, I try to just, let it go. <sighs> they cutting up over here, y'all. Um, this is pretty. This is called Private Party. That's that's all I got. That's all I got. I'm old. That's all I got. What color? Okay, I am done. So thank you for spending my birthday with me. If you have not subscribed, uh, then send me $500 via cash app. Um, I mean, you gotta do something impactful in my life, right? I mean, I'm just trying to save the world. I'm just trying to save the world. I'm just trying to save our babies. You know, I just need a little support. Just let me touch this up. Mascara. Y'all was going to let me go without no mascara. I liked my eyes so much. I think I didn't want none on. But look. The skin is really pretty. I love this foundation. I'm absolutely 900% sticking with this foundation. I like the cost. I like everything about it. Now let me close my eyes and try to put this on. Don't go nowhere. So I could do my that we got to not get this on my lid and y'all know by this point that I can't see so let's do this together don't leave me it's my birthday don't leave me y'all gotta stay the whole time and at least I went fast what minutes we at 39 minutes like y'all know like y'all already know hold on I'm gonna speed this up I'm gonna stop talking
Okay, I am all done and I love it. It's so cute. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Asia, why don't you do final powder or setting spray? Number one, I'm not doing setting spray because the setting spray is everything and it's for matte. It will actually set my face and I won't be able to take it off. Um, oh, and then the other one, I didn't know that it was right here. So I will do that while I am saying goodbye. So thank you everybody for stopping in with me. Thank you everybody that wished me um, a happy birthday. This got a little bit of a tint to it. This is from MAC. It is... Oh, that's why it's called Glow With Me. Um, it was called Glow With Me, but it's a finishing and I love it. Um, thank you everybody that wished me a happy birthday. Um, the program, for anybody that's still listening, the program is starting in a couple of weeks. We are finishing up the packaging for our applicants and then we will reach out to them. Um, we are so ready to start this year for my Divine Purpose program. Um, and yeah, that is it, but I am super grateful. I know that wonderful things are in store. And I also feel like the, the sooner you get a lesson that God is trying to teach you, the sooner you can move on to the next level. It's like Mario brothers and listen here, baby girl, uh, and my honey buns guys, honey buns guys. Ooh, I don't know what I'm supposed to call guys. Uh, my my hot wheels put in the comments what i'm supposed to call boys those people that have boys i don't know what i'm supposed to call them a nice name so thank you again for joining i'm super excited i love this look and i am now going to go eat my catfish that my mom is making me so goodbye butterflies goodbye goodbye butterflies goodbye thank you for joining and i'll have videos all weekend so Thank you again. See you later. Bye.